we are actually going to start our vehicle modeling first uh, where it's uh, you can uh, see this image uh, this is a chassis along with the wheels right and tires so we'll start uh, modeling the vehicle with uh, no components available like uh, no powertrain components available and from that we'll let's say fix a motor somewhere over here and we'll connect a motor controller and a battery and it will be like a full electric powertrain like this right so here what you see is a full battery pack and here you see the motor and uh, the inverter related stuff uh, over here uh, in the orange color so uh, let me quickly go through the objectives of uh, today's simulation so what are the objectives uh, we want to make a most simple and low runtime vehicle model uh, using the individual components so we are going to step by step select the components connect them uh, together and we will have one full model ready for electric vehicle so low runtime is uh, another priority because we usually simulate the vehicle for a drive cycle and that is used uh, normally for more than 1000 number of seconds so we are going to simulate the model for uh, more actual time and therefore will require a faster model right the next objective is to check the performance parameter we are going to check uh, what is the speed of the vehicle we are getting um, how much is the state of charge at the end of run time and how much current was taken from the battery uh, with various drive cycle drive cycle are nothing but speed versus time data uh, which will be given as an input to the vehicle the next objective is uh, we can actually play with uh, the motor power the battery capacity the vehicle body related parameters like rolling resistance air drag and weight and change them in the input and see the model output again we will also know which are the other matlab models available and how we can configure them to match with the actual vehicle or to make a simulation more realistic so let me show you the block diagram first and then i will quickly move to the matlab screen where i will uh, construct uh, the matlab block diagram and the matlab model itself starting from scratch so as i said we'll first have a vehicle body then uh, we'll take up a motor and we'll connect the motor to the axle of the uh, vehicle system and the vehicle body and before connecting the battery directly to the motor we require a motor controller so this motor controller is nothing but uh, to change the speed of the vehicle right if you directly connect the battery to the motor uh, the motor will run to the rated speed and there won't be any control over the vehicle so we want the control to happen and that is possible by a power converter so this power converter is nothing but uh, h bridge uh, with regenerative braking feature so we'll connect a battery so battery will give supply to the power converter power converter will actually change the voltage applied to the motor and that will actually change the speed of the vehicle so this is a basic arrangement of uh, the electric vehicle now we want to actually simulate this situation and we want to uh, run this model for the given input right so we need to have a throttle and a brake pedal in our hand and that is nothing but the drive cycle input so if you decide that uh, at what speed you want to run your vehicle you have to give the drive cycle input that is nothing but at what speed you want to run your vehicle so this is the drive cycle input and there is a driver controller which will actually track uh, the actual speed of the vehicle and which will match with the given input 